What's up, boys? Time for another tech consumerist video where I tell you what stuff to buy. Um, well, well, okay. This is my ThinkPad X220. You know that this channel is not about spending a lot of money on stuff, wasting a bunch of money on stupid things that, you know, just came out last year. This computer, what is it, six, seven, eight years old, something like that, doesn't matter. It works great. ThinkPad X220. I'm doing this video because I got a new accessory for it, and it's an accessory that's actually a little bit expensive. Now I got this thing used for 90 bucks, and the accessory, which I'll go ahead and show you, is this slice battery. This came in a little above 100 bucks, so it's actually a little bit more expensive than the computer. But I wanted to do a video on it just to, I guess, you know, since I have a platform, I might as well because other people might be interested in buying this thing. Um, now before I talk about the battery itself, well, I'll go ahead and tell you, it's probably obvious what it's for. It's for extending the battery life of your computer. Um, now by default, I, I want to say I have one of the nine cell batteries, the ones that stick out. Uh, usually when you have ThinkPads, you could have the nine cells and I think the six cells that don't stick out. And I got the nine cell because, you know, I wanted longer battery life. And I actually like, I actually like holding it back here. It's probably dangerous or something, but you know, whatever. Now the nine cell battery on Linux, I want to say it gets maybe four to five hours of usage. Depending on what you're doing, of course, I mean, whatever you're doing is going to change drastically your, the kind of time you have. If you're doing something more intensive, like rendering a video, it's going to run out of battery really quickly. Um, but, you know, I'd say four to, four to five hours is your typical nine cell battery battery life, depending on what you're doing. Um, now, if you use ThinkPads, you know that one mainstay of ThinkPads are, of course, the ultra bases. Now, this is not the same thing as the slice battery. They just look nearly the same. Uh, I'll go into the specifics of, of both of them in a second, but you know, ultra bases, I've done videos on them. They have extra USB plugs. They have, you know, VGA cords, HDMI, or that's display port, not HDMI. And uh, most importantly for me, you can put in a, uh, well, it comes with a DVD drive. You can replace it with a Caddy 4 hard drive. And that's what I use this thing for. And of course, it's just also very convenient to keep this thing plugged up all the plugs, you know, at your house, and then you come home and put your ThinkPad on top of it. And it's uh, very nice and convenient. Now, you probably know about Ultra Bases. I know a lot of people have them, but I don't know anyone before me who actually owns a slice battery. One of the reasons I wanted to try it out. Um, but anyway, let's, let's go ahead and look at, well, okay. Uh, let me compare how they look, first off. Now, obviously, both of these are going to add some thickness to your laptop, but you can see that there's a big difference. So the one on top is the ultra base. The one on the bottom is a slice battery. Um, so you'll see that the ultra base is considerably thicker. Now part of this thickness, if I show you the whole thing, you'll see that it actually rises at the end. I actually like this. One thing I like about the ultra base is that uh, when the laptop is on it, I'll go ahead and put it on. Um, it actually sort of leans, leans upward. And that's very nice for when you're typing, uh, you know, at a desk or something like that. I find that very convenient. So I actually like this about the Ultra Base. But if you're taking the slice battery from place to place, that might not necessarily be so convenient. So the slice battery is pretty much the same width all the way through. Um, now, anyway, so let's talk about one. Well, I should say one other thing. I'll go ahead and say one thing I don't like about the slice battery and that I've used it so far. You'll notice, let me put back on the ultra base. Now the ultra base, to remove it, it's the easiest thing in the world. You probably saw me just do it a second ago. There's this little latch here. You just undo that latch, take it off, and that's it. Um, well, really, I think you're supposed to press the button first, first but you know, I never do that. Um, now the slice battery, here's the slice battery. It goes on in the exact same way. You really just put the computer on top of it but there is no latch on the side. There's no simple release. In fact, the release on the slice battery is a little weird. To undo it, you have to flip it over basically. And there is, there's a little unlock mechanism and then there's a switch. And this unlock mechanism, it's not like it sticks in the unlock position. So you really have to do this with like multiple fingers. Actually, it's hard to do with one hand. Um, I all, pretty much always have to two hand this, but that's how you take the slice battery off. Now that can be good and bad. Obviously, it's a lot more difficult than the Ultra Base to remove, so that can be very inconvenient. Um, but the thing about this is, when your computer is attached to this, if it if it sort of comes off at an inopportune time, your computer will in fact think it has no battery and shut down. 
So that's very unfortunate. And I will say that is one thing that's happened to me with this slice battery a couple times. There, there have been a couple times when, you know, I'm using this and maybe I pick it up funny, maybe I pick it up by the computer instead of by the slice battery. And it just, I, I guess it sort of disconnects for a second and it'll turn off. So that's one downside to the slice battery. But anyway, I'm saying all these bad things about it. I should tell you what kind of things it actually gives you. Now, as I said, usually the ThinkPad X220 with the, the uh, nine cell battery gets you around five or five hours at the most something like that. The slice battery, now I haven't timed it out all the way, but I'll, I estimate that the slice battery probably triples your battery length. So you could pretty much uh, take this thing uh, really to work or wherever where you're gone all day and expect it not to run out. Now, the only time I've actually gone all, now I've owned this thing for, I, well, I, it's a long story. I ordered this thing a couple months ago, but I couldn't pick it up. I had ordered it like to my dad's house accidentally and I never went there for months. So I just picked this up a couple weeks ago from there, but I had an opportunity to try this out where I was taking it on a bus from Atlanta to Chattanooga. And that's, that's a, you know, around a four hour drive for a bus, which is about the length of this battery length. But what I was doing during that period is I was doing really hardcore rendering, really hardcore, uh, you know, some compiling and a bunch of other stuff, really rendering videos and stuff. And that was extremely intensive. And with the slice battery, it actually lasted the entire time. There's no way that would have happened without it. But I would estimate, you know, in, in real life, the, the battery probably triples your battery time. Now, uh, I don't want to even give you a, a, a rigid estimation of how long that's going to be, because frankly, batteries can just be different. Your usage can be different depending on what operating, your, operating system you're running, depending how intense it is, that can change a lot. So just, I would say probably about three times your, your typical length. That's what you're gonna get with this thing. Now, as I said, the downside, I'm gonna have to remove this thing. Downside is taking it off. Um, now, one other thing, oh, geez, I gotta actually think about this. So you can see how painful it is, but I, I guess it is partially for safety. Now, uh, you can plug this thing in and you can charge it at any time. It does not have to be connected to the computer. So you can just keep this at home plugged in. There's a little uh, indicator thing here, a little button you can press, and it'll tell you how full the battery is. Mine is at right about 100% because I let this thing charge yesterday. Now, in terms of how useful this thing is, um, well, okay, well, one thing related to that is, as I mentioned before, size. Now, I said the Ultra Base is a good bit thicker, uh, as you can see. So if you are carrying these things in your backpack, I'll, note, I'll just say that the slice battery, although it adds some width, it doesn't really add enough to really be noticed. So the Ultra Base is a good bit heavier than this. I haven't weighed both of them, but I'll say that the slice battery, it barely adds anything. I, I don't know, this thing couldn't be more than a pound or so. It's, it's not really anything. And it doesn't really, I mean, I kept this thing in my backpack and when I have my ThinkPad with my Ultra Base in my backpack, I can tell that the Ultra Base is on, it's big enough. But this, this thing isn't so uh, encumbering, so I wouldn't necessarily worry about it. So in terms of like how to use this thing or when you're gonna use it, um, I guess the decision you have to put up with or gr grapple with is, do I wanna take a charger or do I wanna take this thing or do I wanna take both? And I'll say in my daily life, I don't really see myself using this very much. now. As I said, it's been useful to me because I took this on a bus uh, where I didn't really have consistent access to power. They did have plugins, but they didn't really work very well. So it was very nice to have this thing. Or if you know, you're on a plane that doesn't have power outlets, or if you're somewhere else, if you do work outside or something like that, this can be very useful for this. Um, but in terms of daily life, when I go out with my ThinkPad, I think I'd rather just take the charger and plug it up while I'm somewhere else instead of using this. Now, that's not to say this thing is super useless or something. In fact, it's very convenient in that uh, one thing you can do, if you're even if you're just lounging around the house and doing random work from day to day, one thing that you can do is keep this thing plugged up and go around the different parts of the house, work on your laptop, that's often what I do. And when it's almost running out of battery, plug it up or something like that. So I should tell you what actually happens when this thing is plugged up. Um, now, by default, so if I just put this thing on, 
and let it run, what it's going to do is it's going to run through the slice battery's battery power first. So this thing is going to go from 100% to 0%. After that's done, the, only then is it going to use the laptop's batteries. So that are, that's sort of what you expect it to do. Uh, it'd be really bad if it were the other way around, like if you used the slice battery, and although it kept running after a period, it, the, you know, it runs out of the laptop battery. Uh, in the same way, if I were to plug this thing up right now, and again, you plug it up the slice battery, even though you put the AC adapter into the slice battery, it's really going to be charging the laptop. Uh, now, once the rat laptop reaches up 100%, it's fully charged, then it will start charging the slice battery. And again, that's pretty much what you, you'd want uh, because you don't really care. I mean, you care more about your laptop than your slice battery. So, uh, so that's basically how it works. And now you could theoretically uh, <laughs> plug in an AC adapter to both ports, but uh, well, there's actually a part, uh, well, it's on so I can't show you, but they tell you not to do that on the slice battery. It's like, no, no. On this so although I did it and nothing terrible happened but someone who knows more about electronics can probably tell me how terrible that was but either way this thing has been uh, very helpful and uh, recently uh, I don't know now for my purposes I certainly don't regret buying it because of course I also get to do a YouTube video on it and a lot of people are gonna learn about it because of that so that that's sort of worth it if if it's worth is it worth actually a hundred dollars for an average user I don't know it depends on what kind of work style you're working with. Um, I will say things that, as I said, things that don't bother me, it, the size of it is not too intrusive. So if you're worried about that, I wouldn't fret it too much. It's not going to be a big deal. Um, I, I guess if you want to think about if you're going to buy this thing, it's just an issue of, um, am I actually going, is it going to get me a hundred dollars worth of uh, goodness out of it? And that's the only thing you, you should really consider, I guess. Uh, I wouldn't worry about that much else. My only gripes, again, are the difficulty of it. Oh, I, yeah, I don't know if I mentioned before, but aside from it being difficult to remove, um, every once in a while, if you lift this thing up in a bad way, I might be able to replicate it. Okay, maybe not. Um, but there have been a couple times where I try to lift the laptop up uh, and not the slice battery, and it will become disconnected for just a second, and it'll go out. Uh, that's one of the reasons it's so the slice battery is so difficult to remove. But anyway... Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so I, I think this thing, it depends on your work style. If this thing is actually worth it, maybe throwing a hundred bucks on it is not a big deal. I will say you can get these things both new and used. Um, my experience is that used batteries are pretty much always bad or extremely depleted or they don't charge properly. So I bought this thing new. It's the only new ThinkPad uh, accessory I've gotten in quite a while. Actually, I, I actually just bought a new keyboard for this, so that's one other thing, but typically I don't get new products because they're usually not really worth the money, but in the case of batteries, I always buy new ones, and if you get one of these, a new battery is going to put you back about a hundred bucks. Um, if you go on eBay, you can find used ones for a good bit less, but I'm not going to vouch for any of those. I don't know how they're going to be. I mean, they might be fine. They might be fine refurbished, but I'm just not going to vouch for them. But anyway, so I hope this has been informative. Oh, well, you know what? I should add uh, something else. There are other, so this is the X220. This slice battery will work for the X220 and the X230. Other kinds of ThinkPads have different slice batteries that are a little different. Some more recent ThinkPads will have a slice battery that only fills up the back of it. So it's not like the full body. They're only on the back side. That's the, like the more modern ThinkPads. I've never used one of those. Uh, and another thing you can get uh, I don't know what models this is for, but you can get an ultra base where instead of having a CD drive, a DVD drive, or a uh, hard drive caddy, you can actually put in a kind of battery pack. And that's another option for some ThinkPads out there. Um, I don't know if that works for the X220. I, I think maybe the only thing the X220 has is this slice battery that I have, but you might want to look it up yourself. It's just, I don't have any direct experience with that kind of stuff. But anyway, uh, hopefully this has been informative for those of you guys who might be interested in this. If you have any other questions about it, feel free to put them in the comments uh, section. Anyway, well, see you guys. See you guys next time.